Hi everyone, welcome to AI Crack channel. This is Akash Shankar and today we'll be discussing the most sought out question of the PGDBA preparation part. Basically, how to prepare for PGDBA 2023 in a short span of time, let's say 45 to 50 days, right? So this has been the most asked question to me in WhatsApp or Telegram groups or personal messages. And today I'll be discussing about the same. So without further ado, let's start it. So now coming to the agenda for the session, Basically, I'll be dividing this entire session to three parts. The first one would be discussion about certain important points and insights about the preparation. The second one would be timeline for preparation. Basically, I'll be giving you certain deadlines to prepare. And the third one is the most important that will cover at the end. That is resources to prepare both independently or with us. Right. Now let's look at the data mines. So everyone wants to know what should be their target score in any of the examination. So first of all, target score depends on the kind of paper. So basically it means that if the paper is tougher, then probably your target score is lesser. If your paper is easier, then your target score is more. But how do we know that if the paper is going to be tougher or not? So for that, I'll, I'll explain one assumption. So what has been happening in all the mainstream examinations is they have been increasing the difficulty uh, every single year, be it J, be it CAT or be it PGDBA. Once they start to pull up the difficulty, then probably they keep on increasing or at least they maintain the same kind of difficulty over the next years. Right. So we have seen this kind of trend in PGDBA starting from 2020. So they now have difficulty in verbal section in 2020. Then they started giving a little tougher mathematics in the DLR section in 2021. And then in 2022, they gave even tougher mathematics and DLR section. Right? So basically we have seen an increasing trend in the overall difficulty of paper yet. Uh, there has been no significant changes in the cutoff in 2021 and 2022. There have been specific reasons, but considering similar kind of participation, similar kind of difficulty, let's say we get similar paper in 2023 as well, then our target score should be somewhere around 115 to 120. Now, how did I arrive this number? Cutoff was actually 90, but why I'm uh, telling this big of a number, right? So basically I collected certain data points from batch of 2021 and 2022. And I got to know that most of the people who got converted through general category, they had a score of around this only. I'm not saying uh, everyone had this kind of score. Basically in 2021, there was a one person, there was one person who scored 93 and still got converted in 2022. There was one person who got 98 and still got converted. But majority of, this, of them had a score in this range. Also, I am talking all these things with the point of view of a general category student. The other category students can adjust their marks according to the cutoff. But uh, let's let's look at the general category view because that is the most toughest part for PGDB examination, right? So in all these cases, you should be targeting somewhere around 115 to 120. We'll discuss about the strategy later, but this number should be in your mind that uh, your target score should be around this only. So what you'll have to score in mocks to get this kind of score in the actual examination, then probably uh, you'll have to score 105 to 110 in mocks to get this kind of score because mocks are usually tougher than the actual examination. So basically I tend to prepare tougher mocks. I have been doing this since 2021 that I have been preparing tougher mocks as compared to the actual examination so that you don't panic during the actual examination, right? So this was the discussion about target score. Now with such high score being our target, uh, the obvious question is what should be our priority for the sections? Now I'll again divide this part into three parts. The first one is weightage. The second one is effort to reward ratio basically. The third one is selection chances. Now, what do we mean by weightage? That's very obvious. Uh, we know that mathematics as a section is having the highest weightage among all three sections. You can probably give uh, more or less same time to VERC and DLR, but we should be giving more time to mathematics and uh, VERC and DLR should be more or less similar in terms of timings, right? Your priority should be this one. Now let's talk about 
effort to reward ratio so basically in case of mathematics in dll let's say you put x effort then probably you will be getting x reward or even more but in case of vrc if you are putting x effort then you even, you even might get zero reward that has happened to me personally and a few of my friends uh, so basically i scored very well in vrc of cat 2019 but i didn't do that well in vrc of pgdba 2020 and similarly happened to a few of my friends as well so what i mean to say uh you are never going to be sure you are never going to have the guarantee that if you are putting this kind of effort in vrc then probably will be able to score uh, very good marks in the actual examination it it might be different right and uh, and data also suggests that so basically highest marks in pgdb vrc 2022 was 33 out of 45 that is not quite big right as compared to full marks in mathematics and dil and uh, the average marks uh, what people got in vrc Uh, who got converted was somewhere around 25 20 to 25 not exactly 25 but in this kind of range not not having the exact data but yeah this kind of range so you can see that uh, people don't really get th- those who get converted people don't really get very good marks in vrc so even if you are getting average marks in vrc that is totally fine so according to this your priority should be mathematics dilr and vrc now coming to the selection criteria i'll present one more data so basically let's say there are two persons both are having 120 marks and uh, let's do the bifurcation so this one got 75 marks in mathematics let's say 25 marks in vrc and 20 marks in dilr right and uh, this person got 65 marks in mathematics 35 marks in vrc and 20 marks in dilr now in the interview this person will have better chances to get converted why because the course is highly mathematical and they will definitely prefer people uh, of same profile same similar kind of marks but having stronger edge in mathematics right so try to focus more on mathematics again and that will give you better edge as compared to the people who are not scoring that great in mathematics so again the priority order comes out to be maths greater than dilr greater than vrc so you can consider this to be the overall priority order in terms of timings i'm not saying ignore uh, vrc completely but i'm saying if you are giving if you are allocating let's say 100 amount of time then probably you should be giving 50 and 25 and 25 this is the kind of bifurcation you should be doing it or or maybe you can tweak it a little bit according to your strengths or weaknesses but yeah on an average like that but you will have to be consistent in all three subjects it's not like you just studying vrc on weekends but maths and dlr every single day don't do that you will have to be consistent in all three subjects now let us discuss the second most important question which has been asked to me that is how much time one should allocate during the written examination to each section so we have basically three sections vrc dilr and maths ideally in ideal scenario let's say you are good at almost all three subjects basically you are almost equally good at all three subjects so in that case you will be allocating 45 minutes 45 minutes and 90 minutes now you can tweak here and there maybe according to your strength or weaknesses uh, to adjust these timings but on an average your timings should be around that only so for my case personally my mathematics is a little stronger my dlr is a little stronger so what i'll be doing i'll be giving 40 minutes over here i'll be giving 80 minutes over here and probably i'll be giving the remaining of the time over here right so that kind of arrange, adjustment i can do now one additional data point which i almost forgot to add uh, during the discussion of target score was that uh, most of the people who got converted in pgdba both in 2021 and 2022 from general category they almost had close to full marks or almost full marks in mathematics and dilr so basically maths and dilr that again boils down to the point that they want people who are very logically sound and they are very good at mathematics because again the course is highly mathematical and difficult and uh, if you are good at mathematics and dil then probably you have better chances of getting converted in the final round right so do consider scoring as much as possible in mathematics and dil now let us discuss about the timeline of preparation 
basically we have just 10 days remaining for December and 31 days in January. So let's say you're starting from tomorrow itself. In that case, you'll be having around 45, 40 to 45 days till the first week of February, right? And I personally would suggest everyone to complete their conceptual syllabus, so basically com completing all the concepts by the end of first February. So for the first week of February, so first week of February. If you're starting out new, if you haven't given a serious attempt earlier of PG DBA, then this should be your deadline to complete your entire syllabus because that is the optimum amount of time you will be needing to, uh, you know, rectify your mistakes and do the practice. Right. So consider this as the final deadline for completion of your syllabus. And I even, uh, even though I'll be completing the syllabus by the end of first week of February, the YouTube series, which I'm conducting. So basically you, ha you have to prepare from 22nd December to 7th of February. And this is specifically for those people who haven't attempted PGDB earlier, basically haven't made a serious attempt earlier. But if you have made an attempt earlier and have scored decently or almost close to the cutoff, then probably you can extend this deadline a little further, but still don't go beyond end of February, right? That should be your final deadline for anyone who's preparing for PGDB because we have the examination on 26th of March, right? So this should be your final deadline. Now the most important thing is resources. So again, I have divided this into two parts. So basically if you want to prepare with us, then what are the kind of resources you are going to get? And if you want to prepare independently, then what should be the resources you should be utilizing to prepare by yourself, right? So let us talk about the independent part first. So for VARC, now we are, as of now, we are discussing about the concepts. Let me change the pen color. Now we are actually discussing about the concepts. So first talk about the VRC. So basically you will be needing Arun Sharma book to understand a little bit theory of parajumbles and the YouTube series of Jejo sir, which is already there on YouTube and already there in my blog, right? So you can just refer to my blog to get that YouTube link and you can refer to that series for RC framework and Arun Sharma for parajumbles, right? Now coming to DILR, again, you will be needing Arun Sharma book and you have to focus on three topics primarily, basically circular arrangement, linear arrangement and distributions. So go for LOD2, basically moderate level of difficulty or even you can try harder sets but uh, go and don't go beyond these kind of sets because they haven't mentioned specifically anything outside that. Now coming to the mathematics part again, you can refer to my blog and there is a particular table of an Academy YouTube series. What I have done, I have mentioned all sorts of links over there, all sorts of uh, information over there. You have to just utilize that particular blog and table to prepare completely for mathematics. That is for the concepts part. I'm not talking about the practice part. So for mathematics concepts can be done with the help of an academy YouTube series, right? Or even you can use our YouTube series. That is totally up to you. If you want to go in depth, then you can uh, use an academy YouTube series. If you want to just hover around, basically have a crash course kind of thing. Basically, you know the concepts, but you just want kind of revision and want to go over them quickly. Then you can refer to our series that is more precise with lesser examples. This one is more detailed that is specifically designed for JE mains, but I have done the sorting out for PGDBA, right? Now coming to the with us part. So uh, for all three subjects, one common thing is there, prep master is there. So for VARC and DILR, there are no specific conceptual classes, but I'll be taking few live lessons. Uh, talking about the insights and how in let's say in case of RCs, I'll be talking about how to eliminate options, how to solve parajumbles easily, how to eliminate options in parajumbles. So basically I'll be giving practical insights and not the theoretical examples uh, along with, you know, solving the questions in front of you, right? Same with the DLR, I'll be giving practical examples, practical insights on how to solve LR sets because they are getting tougher and tougher nowadays. Now talking about the mathematics, this series is already going on on YouTube. It's free for everyone. You can just refer to that and just follow the sequence which I have uploaded the series. Like that would be pretty much helpful for completing the concept part, conceptual part of mathematics.
and again definitely prep master you'll be getting notes examples and quizzes over there for the conceptual part conceptual understanding not the practice part just for the conceptual understanding now coming to the practice part so let's talk about the independent part first so there is one course called rc campaign that is again free for everyone from our side and you can refer to this particular course for practicing rcs the second option would be gmat club try to do questions of difficulty 650 to 700 level that would be ideal for pgdba specifically 700 ones when you are comfortable with 650 ones then you can probably go for the 700 ones that would be more ideal for pgdba but don't go beyond that that won't be necessary and you can also refer to cat books refer to the cat books at last because uh, cat rcs are not exactly similar to pgdb rcs in terms of the kind of questions they are going to get um, they are going to give uh, but rc campaign is specifically designed for pgdb and gmat club is more you know in resemblance it's more similar to uh, pgdb again you can find this these links uh, in my blog now coming to the dlr part cat books is the way to go so basically you have to understand the concepts as well as practice from the cat books only that is arun sharma now coming to mathematics part there is one book called prem kumar you can I, I'll, I'll be sharing the link in the description of amazon and there is one qod series which i am running also please 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 don't go for ncrt or cbsc books of adi sharma they are not they are not good for pgdb preparation right now they used to be decent enough uh, during the time of 2016 2017 2018 because at that time competition was not that great even if a score if you score 17 out of 25 or 18 out of 25 in mathematics then also you would have made it to the uh, you know college but now competition is very high you have to score 24 out of 25 or either 25 out of 25 right so this is how you have to target your score and for that ncrt or cbsc adi sharma won't be helpful find adi sharma for j means then also it's good but don't practice from cbsc books right that is not going to cover your syllabus now coming to the ai crack part so basically for practicing again you can utilize rc campaign prep master is there and quiz master is there so quiz master is will be providing you mixed quizzes pgd level mixed quizzes prep master is for conceptual understanding and practice but quiz master is for pgd level mixed quizzes it will include mathematics dilr and verbal all three for dilr we have dilr campaign and again these two are same for mathematics we just have prep master and quiz master why not there is anything of mathematics campaign because in prep master majority of the questions are from math in, in both prep master and quiz master majority of the questions are for uh, mathematics only now the third one is uh, more or less exactly same in both the cases both independent or with us because eventually you'll have to attempt mocks and sectionals even if you prepare independently right so that there is just one course called bullseye and uh, if you want to attempt mock seriously and if you want to compete with peers then you can have these have this kind of series right now what should be the ideal schedule for a person who is going to office or going to college and not having more than 3 to 4 hours of liberty every single day so basically uh, first of all you'll have to choose what kind of series you are going to watch so let's say if you want if you are very new and you want in depth understanding of mathematics and you also have time in your hand then probably you can attempt uh, to watch an academy series and in, uh, in 2 hours you will be able to complete three videos if you watch at 1.5x speed or higher so in 2 hours you will be able to watch three videos every single day at minimum the speed and if you want to if you are already decent with your concepts like on average you know things and you have attempted cat and you have already done your concepts earlier certain concepts earlier then probably you can see our series and with the normal speed of 1x you will be able to watch three videos every single day right at 1x so that depends on your time and your understanding of mathematics concepts so that covers the first point now coming to the mathematics practice so basically you will be needing at least 15 20 questions every single day that will again take at least one hour for you every single day and uh, 
you can do it with the help of books or you can do it do it with the help of quizzes and i would suggest you to you know solve mixed questions every single day not just from one single topic because mathematics you know is is all about consistency so let's say if you just practice one question or function every day then probably you will be able to remember uh, those concepts uh, during the examination very well as compared to if you just did 15 questions in one single day and then you did 15 questions after 20 days that won't help so try to mix and match topics over here and uh, for rcs i would suggest you can attempt either one rc or one dl asset every single day so you can make it like this maths and rc and maths and dlr and sorry dlr and repeat so this is the kind of set you have to make and you have to repeat it uh, every single day now coming to the reading practice and uh, you'll have to spend at least 15 20 minutes every single day and why is that important because that will definitely help you in rcs uh, also it will give you overall idea about what is happening around the world in in general if you if you are reading newspapers right so try to do it with the help of articles or um, there is one blog link over there which i have also, also shared and also uh, you can do it with the help of newspapers now talking about weekends so i would suggest everyone to reserve weekends for mocks sectionals and the revision part so basically try to attempt mocks and sectionals on sat saturday and uh, try to rectify the mistakes which you have done in the mocks and sectionals on sunday and also keep it for the revision part which you have already studied during the weekdays so i think this should be your weekly and daily schedule for next 2 3 months until you are done with the pgdb examination so i hope i have covered all the points and the insights which are necessary and related to pg dba written examination 2023 and uh, if i have missed out any then you can definitely ask me in the comment section and uh, also you can reach me out on the whatsapp or telegram group so that is it from my side for the preparation part i'll be soon coming up with another video all the best for your preparations thanks for watching